here we go. So here's a top shot of my phone bean bag that I am going to show you how to make. So what we're going to do, let's take a look at this real quick. So as we look here real quick, we're going to see that it's in a triangle shape. And we're going to notice our seam lines. We have one seam line down here and we have one seam line right here and we have another one down this side. Now this is in a tube shape and the pattern that I have is actually going to have you cut two pieces. The piece that I have here was cut one piece and it ended up causing me a little bit of problems because of how I ended up filling this part right here. But if you look, this flat side right here has some uh, stuff in it to make it pop open and hold the stand up. I use plastic pellets for this which are right here. There's a, they're called poly pellets and I use this. They're stuffing beans, bean bags, seek and find games. Those games where you put little bitty things in and then kids can search through the beans to find those items. So that's what I used in here because I had those. And I like the idea of using the plastic pellets because if you decide to take this to your dinner table and you spill your juice all over the place, when the plastic pellets get wet, they don't get moldy, they don't stink, they don't do any of that stuff that rice or beans could do. Now, if you are careful, then you can use rice and beans to fill up this area right here to hold up your phone. So, so we have our tube right here full of plastic pellets, and then I have a second tube right here, but it's empty. So I kept this one empty and flat. That would allow my phone or whatever device I'm using to sit there and be held up by the pellets, by the pellets and the stuffing that's in here. Now for the rest of this, we turned it the opposite way. So we closed it here on one side and we closed it here the opposite way here. And we stuffed it with poly stuffing, polyfill, whatever pillow stuffing that you have. You could do scraps. You could do whatever here on this side. I just stuffed it and then sh sewed it shut right there. Let's get to it. So the pattern I have right here is something that you can find on my website, emilygarra.com. It's under patterns. I'll have it labeled. I am going to try to get it digitized and get it up there as soon as I can. Um, so on this particular pattern, it tells you to cut two and it gives you directions on how to put it together, kind of, sort of. That's why we have the videos here. I will say right here, when playing with this, this right here is this right here, where you put your beans bag, or, or your beans, your beads, or your rice. The thing is, you can adjust this to however wide or however small you want. I like the narrow, just because I prefer the narrow. I like the narrow. But if you want to make it wider, you can make it wider. Just make sure that you also adjust the part that your phone sits as well. So you just push it out a little bit. So if you wanted this to be more than however wide I have it here, but half inch, three quarters of an inch here, and you want to push it out a little wider, you go ahead and do that. Just make sure you add this strip right here where your phone sits, just push it out as well. This time I'm going to use this. This is a bright yellow fabric. I actually kind of like it. It's kind of a twill. It's a heavyweight fabric. I would not recommend cotton quilting unless you have uh, interfaced the heck out of the back of it. And I'm going to take the cheaters way and fold my fabric in half. Okay, just like this. And I'm going to mark and then cut out my fabric. So now that I have my marks made, I'm going to put my right sides together. I'm going to sew down this side. I'm going to stop here. 
So I'm going to sew, sew down this side. I'm going to stop right here. Keep this space empty. Then right here, I'm going to finish off here. And then a quarter inch down and a quarter inch down this way. We're going to leave this place, this spot open so that we can flip things inside out and stuff. Okay, let me go get that done real quick. Okay, so I sewed my edges and I sewed straight through where I was supposed to keep open because I was thinking about lunch. What I ended up doing, I did backstitch right here and I backstitch right here. That way when I pop these stitches open and, they, and the fabric opens this, at the stress points right here and here, none of the stitches will come undone from those points and they'll just keep that hole open. So right now, real quickly, I'm glad to because I was thinking of other things instead of paying attention to my sewing. I'm gonna open this hole up. Now my hole's open. Right here. So I'm also going to take the time and do a finger press here on this opening of the hole on both sides, right there and right here. So when it's time to sew this shut, It'll be a bit easier to sew this shut with a fold that's already creased where it needs to be. So now we can flip this inside out. And I'm not actually worried about the corners. Um, if you want to trim them, you can, but while I do for this particular instance, in this particular instance, I'm just going to fold it over this way, fold it over that way. So it makes the corner right here, just like this, and just pop it out like that. That way you have a perfectly a perfect corner right there. But because we have a hole right here, I'm not gonna worry about that one. Now if you want to take the time and iron this flat real quick, that would now would be the time to do that. So I'm gonna go iron this real quick and uh, see how the crease there has helped already. Focus please. There we go. So I just did a bit of finger pressing right here and that's helped tremendously already with where I'm going to be stitching at. There we go. And I'm just going to iron all this flat so it's lovely for us. Here we go. Flattened out, flatter than a flitter. So now I'm going to go back and mark again. So I am laying my pattern here so that my seam allowance is off because this line right here is my seam line, which is right there. And I decided that I was going to um, have a wider opening than prior. So I'm going to sew here this time, but I don't want to mark it in. Where's my, there it is. Because I don't want my blue chalk to show up on my yellow fabric, I am going to use my air and water soluble ink pen. And I'm just going to mark right there. I'm going to come down, mark a little more so that I have a line to follow when I'm sewing. And just a bit more here near the edge. And I'm also going to mark, because this is my original spot where I don't want anything, so I'm going to use this line. And I'm going to mark the second line of, that I, of the line that I'm going to sew down, but I'm not going to fill. Just like that. So I'm going to sew a line here using these three marks right here and that's what I'm going to fill with beads and then I'm going to sew a secondary line here and that line is going to stay empty. So I'm going to go sew those lines real quick and I'll be right back. Okay so now I have my two lines of stitching. Let's see, can you see them? I've got two lines of stitching. This is going to be where my pellets go. This is going to stay empty. So now I've got my hole here. I'm going to fill it up with pellets. Now, one of the things that I've noticed with the pellets, well, not pellets. I just happen to like the pellets. But one of the things that I have noticed is if I fill it up too much, it doesn't stand right. But if I fill up too little, it doesn't stand right either. So you might just have to practice and figure out where exactly you want. I'm opening up the tube so the pellets will fall in without being stuck on the fabric. So you're just gonna have to practice and figure out how much 
you want in here and how much you don't want in here. Okay, so there's that. And I'm just going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And no matter if you have pellets or beans or rice or whatever, you're probably going to make a mess. So be prepared for that. Let's see. So like I can always push this down and make this a little stiffer. Push those pullets down and get them in there nice and tight. I don't want it too tight, but I don't want it too loose either. So I think I'm going to put a little bit more in. Just a little bit. I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to I'm going to pinch it here at the bottom like this. I'm going to pinch it here at the bottom and take those little paper that I use as a funnel, fill it up just a little bit more. Try it again. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, okay, set that aside. And then I'll let go of the funnel and start working it in. good. So put the rest of this back in. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I think that's good. It doesn't have to be too tight or too thick. It moves around a little bit. It's a little malleable and I think that's good. So now I'm just going to hand stitch this close using a whip stitch or a ladder stitch. I'm going to use a ladder stitch. So now that we have this part all taken care of, it's all stitched, your beads are in there, you have a place where you can put your phone, we are going to stuff and sew this end. Now remember this is going to be the opposite, so we're going to this way. This is how we're going to stitch everything up this way. And what I should have done and totally forgot about is when we finger pinched this end, we should have done this end as well because it would have been a lot easier to match up our seams if they were already ironed and folded on to the inside just like that. So you can do that now. So go ahead and do that now before you start stuffing anything. Just fold over and pinch about a quarter of an inch and it's not very hard. If you need to measure it, just measure it, but you can always eyeball it as well. Just pinch, 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 like so. And if you want to go iron it real quick, you can iron it real quick. Okay, so here we go. I went ahead and ironed that down real quick. It's a lot easier to do this when your fabric is still inside out. But I went ahead and ironed it down, and we're going to stuff with stuffing. And you can stuff it as hard or as soft as you want. This one stuffed pretty good because I wanted it to stand up. Um, where is my stuffing? What do I do with it? Oh, here it is. So it's just regular old polyfill. Let's uh, zoom out here. So this is just regular old polyfill and I'm just going to stuff it a little bit. And then we will zip it up. Zippity zip. So the more you stuff it, the diff the more different, the more different. There's going to be a way it lays differently if you stuff it really hard down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to give it a little more stuffing here for the top. I'm not going to push down too hard on it. 
and then we're going to close it up. I'm going to pin the edges here. Okay, so there you go. So all you have to do now, you can either hand stitch this using the ladder stitch, the same stitch we used here on the side, to close that shut, or you can put it underneath your sewing machine and do a stitch right across the edge here. And I'm gonna do the sewing machine. I don't wanna hand stitch anymore. So I'm gonna slap this under the sewing machine and stitch it up real quick. And then I'll be right back and we can see how it works. And here we go. It is all done. That is a super quick, simple project right here. We have our pellets right here, a space for our phone. If you overstuffed it down here at the bottom, just push it back up. I sewed with my sewing machine a stitch right there. I'm gonna trim off my threads right there. Threads all over the place. And there you go. Now we have a place to put our phone, or to stand it up, or to do whatever. And there you go, it's all done. And all it was a simple rectangle piece of fabric that you can make. You can also customize if you wanted to uh, put an applique here, or do some type of embroidery, or a name tag, or maybe put a tag here in the seam line. It's just super simple, and there you go. And I hope to have the pattern up sometime this week. That's it. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you would. Share this video if you could, and always remember to subscribe if you're not. I would appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. So here, this is what it would look like. I'll have a better picture on my thumbnail.